Today we're gonna use the MSI Afterburner in order to overclock our GPU with literally one single click. Okay guys, and what you basically want to make sure is first of all click on the first link in the description where I'm going to show you now the MSI Afterburner which you can actually download from the official website. Just simply click onto it and then you can see already your download should begin here on the bottom bar. And once you get it, you're just simply going to put the installation exe here onto your desktop, double click, then it's going to ask you what language you want and then you're going to click on the next, accept everything, go on the next. A small tip, actually also make sure to install the Reva Tuner statistics server because then you can actually have the benchmarks which every YouTuber is using on the site, which is pretty handy. Then you select the installation path, go on the next and install. This is not exactly how your MSA Afterburner should look like guys. We have first of all actually here our GPU, which is basically going to showcase us our core clock. Then we have as well our memory clock speed. Then we have our temperatures and what you want to do in the first place guys is actually make sure to drag your power limit all the way to the right side. For most of you it's going to be probably on around 100% but with the MSI Afterburner you can actually put it all the way to the right side to make sure that you can fully utilize 100% of your GPU. With that as well the temperature limit comes up a little bit so therefore what you can do is increase your fan speed you know because we don't want actually our GPU to become too hot. And there are two different methods guys which you can actually use and the easiest one is actually to go over here to the left side where you can see the overclocking scanner. Performs automatically graphics card overclocking and stability test by means of Nvidia OC scan technology. So therefore you can open this up and actually run a scan now on your PC where it's now basically going to find out what are the best overclocking stats for your specific GPU on your PC. So therefore super easy click on the scan and then you can see now here start scanning please wait a few minutes and then afterwards it's already going to automatically apply all the changes. This is one way to do it guys and the second one which is actually even better in my opinion is just simply to browse through the internet a little bit type in exactly what is your current GPU. This was by the way exactly the post I think which I used when I still had my RTX 2070 and here we have now a ton of core information from people out there who already overclocked maybe your exact GPU model. If you have something common like a 1050, 1060, 1080, 2060, you know all of these like super common graphic cards, there's a high chance that there's already tons of people out there who are way better at overclocking than you or me could ever be. So therefore they can already provide you instantly with the best settings which you can do. Something like here on a 2070 Super, you can actually put it all the way to 1905MHz core clock. Then you just simply get those data and put them in here manually. So therefore you can see my core clock is right now 1830, so therefore you just type in exactly how much you want to increase it, press enter and then it's going to change on your GPU clock. The same you can do with your memory clock, so therefore you can either use the auto OC or find the best settings from the internet. I hope this video was helpful, don't forget to subscribe.